Uh, looks like this is going to get really ugly because I'm back in Santa Ana and the uh, cops are kind of lying in the street right now. I guess the uh, Santa Ana Police Department is too thrilled with my blogging, which uh, is to be expected, but it was all true. Uh, the first thing that happened when we got uh, into the city limits was we saw a uh, an individual, a uh, female, probably around 20 or something like that, pulling out a phone, cell phone. Now I noticed these things and there was a little uh, U.S. Marine sticker on her phone. Now, that usually means that we're talking about a relative of somebody in the Marines, uh, U.S. military. They're the ones that do this stuff. <coughs> they, uh, they know who I am. It's a network, you know, they share photos, they all know each other. And, uh, and that's really how all this got started. Uh, I've been uh, trying to point that out for quite some time. Is that the U.S. military basically get away with shit because a lot of them are cops. And as near as I can tell, all the uh, criminal offenses, offenses committed by uh, law enforcement personnel were committed by ex-military, especially U.S. Marines, which is uh, not a coincidence, and I'll go into that in detail. But uh, May 23rd, uh, first thing, it's uh, the afternoon, I'll have to get the time uh, stamp on it. The, uh, yeah, we already got complaints and the cops are, <coughs> excuse me, Coca-Cola. They uh, jumped out of uh, American Legislative Exchange Council, so I'm back to buying their product. And uh, looks like that's the way it's going to be. Uh, Marine Corps, uh, either ex-Marines ex or uh, active or their relatives or somebody uh, in that little circle of uh, that segment of the population will be making the complaints. The cops will feel the complaints and then that's supposed to translate into me being a bad guy and doing all of these things, all of these crimes in, uh, at the public, and that's how it's done. So we'll see what happens. We're in Santa Ana, California, and it uh, doesn't look good for the, uh, for the blogger publisher here, but we'll see what happens. And of course, I should have mentioned, th this is why the, the cops want to get the uh, video camera so bad, is because uh, you record this stuff, they can say anything they want in a police report, and collectively, a bunch of police reports that follow the same storyline, the same pattern, uh, tend to have some credibility because they're cops. But what they actually do is they, they follow these storylines, well, he did this, and he did this, and he did this, the same thing over and over and over again, and which started uh, a long, long, long time ago, back in uh, 1996, 97, and uh, it started off with a, a phony police report uh, accusing me of uh, soliciting prostitution outside of, of a police station. And <laughs> it's bogus as hell. The guy was uh, blonde hair, blue eyes, you know, it's all bullshit. Well, it turns out the cops that wrote up that report were also ex-Marines. And uh, that's, that's where I started noticing the pattern and, and started putting it together. And guess what? It turned out all these cops that were pulling this shit, uh, falsifying reports, making uh, bogus allegations, were uh, all connected. They all had the same affiliation. And uh, that gets back to our, the source of all this. He was a murder and thief, uh, thief and uh, con artist by the name of John Andrew Whitcraft Jr. Who, uh, who basically kidnapped my mother and forged her signature on some documents and he wound up stealing all her property. He is a defense contractor. It just happens that his ex-wife, well, he married into a family that builds for barracks for the U.S. Marine Corps. Can you believe that? At 100 million bucks a shot. So. It's, it's kind of, it's really easy. I mean, an idiot can figure that. Even a cop can figure this one out. And uh, we're going to watch the, uh, the, uh, the act, the portrayals, uh, continue today. And, but that's what it's all about. I've written about that. And if you notice, I carry around this, uh, this backpack and my documents and some CDs that they really, really want to get their hands on. Uh, 
The last time I was physically attacked was by an ex-military guy, and the uh, first thing he went for was my backpack to try, because they want to break the CDs that are in there, the storage media. Uh, I've got the same stuff on, uh, on uh, flash drives, stick, whatever you want to call it. But the, uh, the CDs, the originals, and, they, uh, and they've got documents going back to 1997, or uh, 2007, I'm sorry. And all my other property, storage media especially, uh, my computer, camera that was used for uh, probably, I'm guessing, to uh, take a list of photography and then plant it back on me so the cops could recover it later. Uh, all this stuff was all accomplished by, uh, by ex-military uh, personnel who were obviously involved in a criminal conspiracy, technically. And uh, uh, I'll be doing the best I can to document that and, and show that the affiliation is absolutely 100% constant, and which I suspect also applies to Commander Gominski, the, the fat-ass commander that threatened me with arrest when I tried to uh, uh, request uh, records from using the California Public Records Act. How you doing, son? So what were you dragging in a plastic bag I just saw you drink out of? Soda, man. Have Soda? A look. Mind if I look? Go ahead, man. All right. Outstanding. You're going to record everything? Make sure you get my name. Officer Mercer, badge number 3077. What's your name? Uh, huh? Okay, a guy that's minding his own business drinking soda. Okay, thought it was alcohol. That's the reason I come over here to check, and I appreciate your cooperation. Don't drink. Outstanding, good for you. How long have you been out here in Civic Center? I just sat down. No, no. You live out here? Good, I just sat down. Do you live out here? I don't understand the question. Do you live out here or are you homeless? Well, why do you ask? Because I'm an inquisitive type of guy. Just because I know everybody, this is part of our district. I like to get to know everybody that's out here. Well, that's nice. Uh, break any laws, man. Okay. Am I breaking any laws? No, I'm just asking questions right now. You're free to leave anytime you want to. Well, so, hey, if I'm not doing anything illegal, then I'm not doing anything illegal. Okay, I'm True. just asking you. Do you live out here? I don't understand the question. I'm sitting here. Do you live out here when you're not sitting here? What does... It depends on your definition of live. Do you sleep? I'm living, eat? yes. I'm still alive. And I'm sitting here, and what time is it? Time for you to get a watch. Dead forward one. Well, we can all be wise guys here. I'm trying to make I'm this a I'm not trying to contact. be a wise guy. I'm sitting here over by myself, trying not to bother anybody and not breaking any laws. Okay. Isn't that well, good? Isn't that adequate? Well, like I said, <laughs> you gave me what I was looking for. I thought you were drinking yeah. alcohol out of a bag because the way you drank it. No. So, it's okay to drink soda, isn't it? Sure it is. I just thought it was alcohol because that is predominantly what people do when they're drinking out of a bag trying to conceal the bottle. In this case, I was wrong. And I appreciate your cooperation. Don't Thank let me you. look at it. Thanks. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Have a good day, sir. So it looks like it's gonna be like that all day. Drink a soda, sit down, and uh, that's what it looks like. That's what we're gonna be getting. It's uh, it's been about an hour, an hour and a half since I uh, made the last recording, and uh, that's pretty much what I expected. But that's what happens when you're a blogger. So.